Hey everyone, welcome to Moon's Precious Treasures. I'm trying to use my tripod and we'll see how well this goes. Um, as you can tell, I have baby Michelle and I'm going to try and change her into a um, onesie by Koala Baby. This came with the stuff um, that came with honey. And uh, Michelle is the Paradise Galleries baby. She's supposed to be a toddler, but she really is not the size of a toddler. I'm having to hold the tripod because unfortunately I do not have a tall enough tripod. So I'm having to use one hand to do this. I don't have anything tall enough to set it on, so we'll see how well this goes or how bad this goes, and I'm, <laughs> I do not know. This is the first time I've ever done this on camera, and it's the first time I've ever done it one-handed. Now, if this was a real toddler, I would seriously not recommend doing it one-handed. Okay, because that onesie I had her in, not onesie, but sleeper was a Gerber one. And I'm not going to try and adjust that on camera. I'm not going to try and zip that back up. Now this is going to be fun trying to do this one-handed. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this and do that. So, you probably hear some dogs playing in the background. Um, this is what baby Michelle looks like um, in the onesie, the koala onesie. It's newborn size. She seems to fit um, in the Gerber onesies and apparently the koala onesies, the brands. Um, it covers her cloth. It's not um, tight. And it's not really baggy looking. I'm just kind of setting her down a little bit here. So you can get a better look at her. Like I said, you probably hear some dogs playing in the background. Hopefully that's a pretty good view for you guys. <coughs> if you heard something squeaking, I am... Just move the tripod a little bit. And I do have stuff in my floor. I'm kind of putting things away. Um, I just wanted to do this video. And um, she does. She, she has. Um, she's kind of built to sit. So it is a little bit um, loose. Like down here. But that's because of the way she's made. That's not really the onesie's fault. It's just the way she's made. Now that I've had Michelle for a while, um, I like her a little better. I just wish they would have done, um, yeah, that's where, if you look at it in my hand, I burnt it with some, um, water, so it's healing. I was boiling eggs and got splashed. I wish they would have done a better job with her nails. Because, like, the pinky, the tip is, like, in the wrong spot. It's not even at the tip of the nail. And, like, that nail's messed up. I just wish they would have done, um, a better job with her nails. Is basically the only issue I had with her. Other, <laughs> the dogs are getting really wound. Other than her hair is kind of hard to take care of. Because it's, it's glued on top of her head. 
And I'm really sorry about the dogs. Since it has been a really rainy week, they are really wound up. That's why the cat's kind of like, when is it going to stop raining so you can get rid of the dogs for me? Because she, she stays inside, basically. And the dogs are usually outside playing in the yard when it's not raining and wet. So the cat would like a break from them. <laughs> but um, Michelle's hair is like hard to take care of because it's glued uh, it's a glued on wig it's not like rooted into the head or nothing it's just glued on top of the head so it's a little hard for me to manage her hair but since i've gotten her and gotten more used to her and I've been keeping um, shoes on her feet because I don't really like the way her tips are done on her feet. They're worse than her nail, her um, fingernails. Um, since I've been keeping shoes on her feet, so I don't got to look at her tips of her nails. And I've been um, just working with her hair gently and um, getting used to her, basically. I She's not bad. I mean, is she worth what the full price is, like a hundred and something dollars? I wouldn't pay that, honestly, still. But, um, she's cute. I mean, the expression's cute. I mean, she's not like a horrible doll. I mean,. She just took a little bit for me to get used to. And once I learned some tricks to kind of work with her hair and things, you know, I I got used to her and things. So, you know, she's a little better than when I first got her, my opinion of her. I just have a little hard time finding clothes to fit her. Because she is a... Um, See, she is more of a sitting baby and she's not really supposed to be a baby she was supposed to be a toddler but there but her um name for paradise gallery is ba baby michelle that's how you find her on there but she's in their toddler section so she's supposed to be a toddler you just have a little bit of trouble finding things that fit her right down um, in the legs. But, you know, no no doll or reborn or lifelike or whatever is going to be absolutely perfect that comes, um, that's made by a factory, you know. Unless you make one yourself, it's not going to be perfect. Everyone has their own definition of perfect. Everyone's looking for certain things. You know, everyone's definition of perfect is going to be different. So unless you make it yourself, I don't really think you're going to find perfect for you. You know what I mean? I'm sorry if this kind of turned into a rambly video. I hope you kind of get what I'm saying. That after, over time, I got more used to her. My opinion changed. Because honestly, I didn't know what to expect with Paradise Galleries. Because she was my first one from them. And she probably will be my last unless I find one um, cheap, like on sale. Like I said, I, I didn't pay full price for her. I got her on sale. I paid less than $70 for her. And for me, you know, less than $70 for her wasn't too bad. Now, if I would have paid a hundred, you know, I wouldn't have been, I would have been sending her back. Honestly, if I would have paid a hundred dollars, I would have been sending her back. Truthfully, I wouldn't even bought her if she was um, full price. Because a hundred dollars to me is too much for one of these because their body is cloth. They have um, a little bit of weight, but it's in... Um, it's like, I don't remember what it is, but it's down in the bottom. 
the legs aren't filled with anything that I can remember. Um, they're not weighted like a reborn. Like, they don't use glass beads. Um, but this is cloth um, body. But if I remember right, there's bits of cloth stuffed inside the body. So it's not like um, poly filled or whatever that's called. Angel fluff or something. It's not what's in this doll. Pa uh, Paradise Galler told me what their doll is made out of. I put it in the description of uh, my video I did of Michelle. But um, if I remember right, her limbs are hollow. And there's no weight in her head either. So, um, honestly, if she would have been $100 retail, I wouldn't have bought her. For that price. But for the price I paid, less than $70, I'm alright with her. I got used to her over time. And I like putting her in little outfits. And... You know, I just can't find a pacifier that will stay in her mouth. And I don't want to take her head off and put a magnet in because um, the zip tie in her neck. Is not where I can get to it because they sewed it shut where you can't get to it. So I can't like cut it and just um, attach a magnet to the back of her head because the zip tie is... Um, enclosed in the cloth body and I don't want to cut the cloth so um yeah I can't attach a magnet to the back of her head well inside the back of her mouth so that's kind of not an option so I can't really find anything so far that will work for um pacifiers dummies whatever you want to call them well, anyway, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on my, um, how things were going with baby Michelle. Kind of like my updated thoughts. And I think I just seen an ant. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and, um, close this, uh, go ahead and end this video. Um, thanks for watching. And like I said, Michelle is a really cute expression. I don't regret buying her. I just wish she was a little bit easier to find clothes for. 